The conditioning characteristic of a vulgar person is that he never expects either benefit or hurt from himself but from externals. The conditioning characteristic of a philosopher is that he expects all hurt and benefit from himself. The marks of a proficient art that he senses no one, praises no one, blames no one, accuses no one, and says nothing concerning himself as anybody or knowing anything, when he is in any instance hindered or restrained, he accuses himself, and if he is praised, he secretly laughs at the person who praises him, and if he is censured, he makes no defence, but he goes about it with the caution of sick or injured people, dreading to move anything that is set right before it is perfectly fixed. He suppresses all desire in himself, transfers his aversion to those things only which thwart the proper use of our own faculty of choice. The exertion of his active powers towards anything is very gentle. If he appears stupid or ignorant, he does not care, and in a word, he watches himself as an enemy and one in ambush.